Welcome to another video on solving two-step equations. This video will deal with two-step equations with fractions. Remember when solving a two-step linear equation, the goal is to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. And we'll do this by first adding or subtracting in order to isolate the variable term. And then we'll multiply or divide in order to isolate or solve for the variable. And then step three, we should check our answers. It is important to remember that in order to maintain equality, we must perform the same operation on both sides of the equation. So number one, we have two x plus one fourth equals three fifths. The variable is on the left side of the equation, so our ultimate goal is to have x equals some numerical value. So in order to isolate the variable here, we have to undo this two and undo this one fourth. We have to ask ourselves, which one can we get rid of by adding or subtracting? Well, the opposite of plus one-fourth is minus one-fourth. So we're going to have to subtract one-fourth on both sides of the equation to start with. So we'll subtract one-fourth here and subtract one-fourth here. Plus one-fourth minus one-fourth, that's zero. So we have two x on the left equals, now here we're going to have to get a common denominator. That's going to be 20, so we'll multiply this by four over four, that'll give us 20. Multiply this by five over five, that'll give us 20 in the denominator. So we're going to have 12 twentieths minus five twentieths. So we're going to have two x equals, this will be seven twentieths. And here we have to be a little bit careful this is attached by multiplication, so the opposite of multiplying by two would be dividing by two. The problem is, this is in fraction form over here. So instead of dividing by two, it might be helpful if we multiply by the reciprocal. So dividing by two over one is the same as multiplying by one over two. Notice when we do this, this is lined up nicely on the right side, and on the left side, this simplifies nicely as well. This two simplifies out, so we have one x, or just x, and on the right side, nothing really simplifies here, so we can multiply across the top, that'll be seven over 20 times two, so seven over 40 would be our solution. Let's go ahead and try another one. Here we have two fifths x minus one half equals three fifths. Again, the variable is on the right side, so our ultimate goal is to have x equals some numerical value and we could undo the minus one half if we add one half on both sides. That's going to be our first step. This two fifths is attached by multiplication. So we'll have to undo that in the second step. So again, to undo the minus one half, we'll add one half on both sides. So this would be zero, that's why we did that. So we have two fifths x, equals, here we have to have a common denominator, so that's going to be 10, multiply this by two over two, multiply this by five over five. Notice both denominators are now 10. We're going to have six tenths plus five tenths. So let's go ahead and write this again. We have two fifths x equals 11 tenths. This two fifths is attached by multiplication but again, instead of dividing by two-fifths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply both sides by five-halves. The left side simplifies perfectly. We're left with one x or x. On the right side, the five and the ten simplify. This would be one, this would be two. Looks like we have eleven-fourths. This is perfectly fine for an answer and is correct, but it is an improper fraction. We could convert this to a mixed number by taking 11 and dividing by four. There are two fours and 11, that would be eight with a remainder of three. That tells us 11 fourths is equivalent to two and three fourths. Either answer is correct and in simplest form, just one's improper and one's a mixed number. Number three, we have one-fourth equals three-fifths x minus five. Now our variable is on the right side, 
So that means when we get done, we're going to have some number equals x on the right. So looking at the right side, which can we undo by adding or subtracting? Well, we could undo minus 5 by performing the opposite operation or adding 5. So we'll add 5 to both sides of the equation. So we'll add 5 on the right and we'll add 5 on the left. But when I put plus 5 on the left, I'm going to put plus 5 over 1 because I am going to have to get a common denominator here. So the common denominator here is going to be 4, so I'll multiply this by 4 over 4. So on the left, we're going to have 1 fourth plus 20 fourths equals, we'll have 3 fifths x, and then minus 5 plus 5, that's 0, that's why we did that. Let's go ahead and write this again. Notice I am showing quite a few steps, but if it helps me get the correct answer, I'd rather show more steps than less. So to isolate x, we have 3 fifths times x. So we could divide by 3 fifths, but instead we'll multiply it by the reciprocal or multiply it by 5 thirds on both sides. Let's take a look at the left side. This simplifies here. There's 1, 3, and 3, and 7, 3's and 21. That looks like that's about it. So on the left, we have 35 fourths. And on the right, Again, these are reciprocals, so 5 over 5 and 3 over 3, that would all be 1x or just x. This is our solution. And again, it is an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and practice converting it to a mixed number. 35 divided by 4, that's going to go in 8 times the remainder of 3. This is equivalent to 8 and 3 fourths.